that was the flavor I was missing. Mmm, so good. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda, and tonight I'm making a very quick chicken bruschetta dish. Now, I am using chicken that I'd already cooked earlier this week. I did in a previous video where you can like grill chicken all at once and then use it for multiple types of meals. And here's another idea. That one had fajitas and a salad, it's like quesadillas. And tonight I'm using grilled chicken to make a, this chicken bruschetta dish. But don't worry, if you don't have chicken already cooked for this meal, I will tell you how to use raw chicken to still get the same dish. So let's just get started. So we're gonna start off with making our bruschetta sauce. And so I have some really nice, pretty tomatoes, and I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use yet. So if you're new to my channel, you will realize that I pretty much cook on the fly. I make things up as I go, and I very, very <laughs> rarely use recipes. So on a dish like this, I have an idea of where I'm going with it in my head, and then we just kind of create as we go. So what I want is to dice these tomatoes into very small pieces, okay? I'm almost making, it's like an Italian salsa, really. So I've got, oh, I love cobalt blue, guys. I'm obsessed with cobalt blue. So I've got me a nice bowl, and I started with a fairly size, small bowl because that will remind me that I'm only making enough sauce for tonight's dinner for people. I don't need to go overboard. I'm probably not gonna use all these tomatoes. This actually tastes really good, and bruschetta is often mostly served on top of crusty French toast. Like you take French bread and toast it up, and then you would put this on top of the bread. And it is really, really good that way. But tonight, I decided to use this as a sauce on my chicken dish. And so it'll be really perfect for springtime. We're headed into nice, beautiful spring weather. And I just wanted something that was kind of light and refreshing. And this dish fits the, fits the bill. Back behind me, I've got some water boiling. I'm going to make some egg noodles to go alongside. And then I've got some zucchini that I also plan to cook with this dish. So I cut off the top, but then I'm just kind of cutting around this stem piece. Just because, why not? We want to use up, you know, the tomato. Oh, today has been just one of those days where I have been running around town. We had, our libraries still are not open due to the coronavirus. So, but they are open for picking up holds. So we put a bunch of holds on because my kids, we homeschool, I homeschooled my kids and they've got a research paper coming up. They're seventh grade. And so, we put some books on hold at the library for them to start their research paper for the end of the year of their seventh grade. All right, this is looking like plenty. So I will just set these aside and use them for something else. All right, so now I've got two pieces of garlic. Now this garlic is gonna be eaten pretty much raw, so you don't want too much because then it'd be kind of overpowering but I love garlic, so two is gonna be fine for me. But this is where cooking without recipes is the best because you can adjust to what your flavor needs are. Like if you love garlic, maybe put in more. If you are like, you know, I just want a little bit, then you can also start with less and you can always taste it and say, hmm, no, it needs more garlic. So I smashed the garlic cloves. That helps kind of break away the paper. This one's being stubborn. 
Oh my goodness. Love the smell. This smells like springtime. Basil, you know, is starting to be found in stores and <laughs> I got really excited and Okay, I'm gonna grab a spoon behind me. On the very first day of spring, I got very excited that the weather got warm. I went to the store and bought some basil, uh, yeah, planted basil. And then like the next day we had a freeze. <laughs> so my basil died, I'm gonna have to do it again. All right, so I'm gonna grab some basil leaves. So yes, my basil is the one that I planted outside has not started to grow yet. So I did, oh gosh, this smells so good. Makes me immediately hungry. Oh man, look how big that is. Okay, so what you're going to do, let's see if you can see this really well. You're going to stack them up like I did and roll them into like a little roll here. And then you just run your knife and into very, very thin ribbons. So I'm gonna put that in. And we'll see, that was probably about 10 leaves or so. Well, again, we're gonna mix this and we'll taste it and we'll decide if we need more of things. So this is extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna pour a couple tablespoons. And this is balsamic vinegar. I recommend that you buy the best quality balsamic vinegar that fits into your budget it really makes a difference. So this one's really not that expensive. This very pretty large bottle was probably around $15, but it's gonna last me a while. I, you only use like a couple tablespoons at a time for most dishes. Oh, and it smells so good. And then there are some dishes where you would use more and then like reduce it down. But if you buy really expensive, expensive balsamic vinegar, it reduces down over time and becomes like a syrup. All right, let me grab some salt and pepper. And if you can swing that in your budget, go right ahead and use a little bit for this dish. It'd be perfect. All right. And this is the fun part. This is where you get to taste. And if you can make this up like an hour or so before you make dinner, it gives the time for all these ingredients to kind of break down and work together. All right. Mm. So good. Okay. I think I need a, I'm gonna put a little bit more basil. And I, the garlic is good. I'm, I was trying to decide if I wanted to put more garlic, but I think the garlic's fine. A little bit more basil. And then I'm just gonna let that sit and we will get the chicken out and do that part. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with the chicken. But this, we just want time for it to just kind of hang out. I forgot, I was gonna add some Parmesan cheese to this too, which sometimes is in bruschetta recipes, but not always. But you know, more cheese always better, right? So I'm gonna add, this is pre-shredded, Fresh is always better, but lately I've kind of been lazy and been buying pre-shredded cheeses again. Okay, there we go. I think that, I think that was the flavor I was missing. Mmm, so good. Okay. All right, like I said, I grilled this chicken up earlier this week, but if you don't have chicken, I sliced them in half so that way they would cook faster when I was grilling them. And you can do that again. Slice your chicken breast into fillets and then put them in the oven with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And just let them cook almost all the way through and then come to this step. So I'm going to grab, oh man, these are some small ones in here. Um, oh gosh. I actually cooked these out on the barbecue grill, so they have that kind of grill smell to them. So I'm going to grab out a couple, and I'm going to use the rest of these later in the week for another dish. So there's four of us, but like that one's pretty small, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave enough for the dinner later in the week, too. Okay. I think that'll be good. <clears throat> 
And then we're going, so these are already cooked through. So all I'm wanting to do, I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And all I want to do is put them with mozzarella and melt the cheese and warm the chicken up. Now, these have, again, same thing. They're just salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe some onion powder on them. Very simple flavors so that they would work multiple ways as I wanted to use them this week. So I'm just gonna top them with some shredded mozzarella. I meant to buy mozzarella slices, but I forgot. So we use what we have, right? I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about probably eight minutes to warm them through and melt that cheese. And then we will, when they come out of the oven, we're gonna to top them with this bruschetta and serve them with egg noodles and some zucchini, which I'm trying to decide right now how I wanna do the zucchini. Um, I'm thinking about doing it zoodle style, but I might saute it. Let me figure that out. And that's pretty much the basis of this dish. We'll be back and tie it all together. All right, so my chicken came, my chicken came out of the oven and you can see I just warmed it through and melted the cheese. And so I've got, ah, oven mid overboard. <laughs> I've got a plate that I made some ranch egg noodles. So it's just egg noodles with a homemade ranch seasonings and some zoodles that I whipped up really quickly. And grab one of these chicken breasts. The prettiest one, obviously. And we will top it with the bruschetta we made. Talk about yum. I'm gonna get some of the extra juice on the bottom. There you have it.